Welcome back, everyone. Crumulant Archer. Said my name weird there. Crumulant Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. It's a foggy morning. I turn this car off. Yes. Okay. I think I turned that car off. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're gonna go inside, I think, instead of going around outside. I'm trying to let myself be hungry because we're trying to lose a little bit of weight here. Just you know, not working the best. Oh, I hear somebody. Where are you? Oh, it's probably the people under the stairs. Those guys back there. But I do want to eat these carrots. We'll see if this will knock us up into just a little hungry. Probably won't. We'll try it. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so we're going to try and fight inside today. Hopefully that won't get us into too much trouble. Start with that little axe. This one cell block over here seemed to be mostly empty. So I think we're gonna work on that. Whoa. Excuse me, zombie. Some more people under the stairs there. What is this room? Oh man, we've been down here. You guys got an unlucky spawn, I'm sorry. Alright. Come here, you. Nobody behind me? No. Okay. Make sure I know where this door is going just so that we don't get surprised by it. Alright, just in here. Yeah, so like like I think I said in the last episode, I'm pretty sure this this cell block emptied mostly out when we were doing our shotgun burn. Been in a circle while I'm just smoking my cigarette so that nobody can sneak up on me. Alright. Oh. It's raining zombies. That's a little scary because that means zombies can show up behind me. They fall off the upper levels. Um, maybe we'll go upstairs first, actually, now that I think about it. I'd rather be surprised by a zombie coming up the stairs than uh, falling down on my head. Like that. <laughs> Okay, now we're, now it's getting a little, a little exciting. Oh, we have our machete now too, right? We can make some use out of that. Well, there's the terror, nervous wreck, terrified stuff again. Here and uh, let's fall back here. Limit, limit the approaches here. I took off the mask because I thought maybe the mask was contributing to the uh, to the stress out, but it doesn't seem to actually be the case. Okay. 
All right, let's. Let's try it. Let's use this machete a little bit. I believe it, it does a lot of damage. It doesn't have the reach of the katana. Not as much damage as I thought it was going to. It's a new toy and I feel like we need to use it. Come here. I'm a little scared about this. Yeah, we're okay. <laughs> Sometimes you go upstairs and weird things happen. This is perhaps not where I want to be, though. I was trying to get to the... Oop, no. Good trap me. It's trying to get to the actual like second floor of the cell blocks, which I thought was up those stairs. Apparently not. Take some beta blockers. I don't think they they don't really help with being scared, but maybe they'll they'll help a little bit. Oh, there's more zombies in that. So, it's just been hiding in the back. The sound of zombies pushing right here is on the next level up, I'm pretty sure. about more zombies falling from above. <laughs> so much noise. Did you break that? How did they break it? They never break those doors. All right, I'm coming down the stairs, let's back off. Behind me, good. Oh, more coming down the stairs. All right, I think we just leveled up another bit of long blunt or long sharp, long blade. That's how that's actually pronounced. Yes, long blade. Just a wall down here at the end, yes, yeah.
All right, now it's uh, cell by cell. Put in that one. I see you coming down the stairs. Three of them in there. There's zero of them in there. Just bumping up all the doors. All right. One side done. Somebody else came down one of the stairs, it looks like. He seems busy at the moment, so we'll just leave him be. I'll deal with other issues. there's still more up there I don't know why I say I'm surprised there's always more <laughs> it's the one thing we should have learned by now is that there's always more last room? No? Alright. That's the ground floor. Well, still a few people up here. Not many. So we found a key. This makes this all a lot easier. Come on. There you go. So somewhere, somewhere they have the opening to the ceiling or the roof, which is, you know, kind of a ceiling. Okay, that's, that's terrifying. And that one's pretty bad too. All right, let's not, let's not deal with that right at this moment. All right. Might be everybody down on this side. A little scared of those rooms with all the zombies clustered around the windows. That makes me a little uncomfortable. Feeling a little sad? It's probably because we've been stressed out for so long. Let's see what we can do about that. Okay, let's get some water. Or not, maybe? But these prison toilets don't count as water sources? Apparently not, okay. Maybe that's legitimate, I don't know that much about prison toilets. All 
All right, I'm gonna switch back to my axe for this because this is scary. My escape paths are kind of limited here. I'm just worried about getting jumped from behind while we're doing this. At least that window is very interesting. <laughs> Alright, so that, that actually didn't go so bad at all. Something just leveled up. Can't stop to look at it right now, though. I mean, I suppose I could fall back and take a look, but... <laughs> Too worried about this. Okay, that wasn't so bad. What did we get? Oh, that was definitely a 9 level axe. Only one more level to go. We've got top level axes. All right, cell block is finished. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Dead rat. Hand axe. Sure. Another one, but that one's actually in pretty bad shape, so I'm just gonna leave it behind. Alright, let's have a smoke. Bring this terror down. This is a security room, apparently. Anything useful in here? Ketchup and an old zucchini and a very old pork chop. Right, nothing there. I'm still very curious as to see where they where they're getting on the roof, <laughs> but we'll see. So we, we may or may not ever be able to figure that out. It's possible some of them were just glitching their way onto the roof. Alright, so we got some nicer cells. Have their own TVs. So, like, better prisoners? I don't really know what this is supposed to symbolize. Let's let's go back towards the front of the building. Uh, oh, that's the cell block again. That's the little closet we were in. So I think that noise is coming from those zombies under the stairs down there. That's what I'm going to choose to believe anyways. This looks like a hospital room. I'm not going to go in there just yet. Some administration room. I guess that's all there is there. I'm scared about turning a corner and coming face to face with like just a million zombies. It's a break room. Useful in here. I 
But I doubt it's being picked up on the mic, but if you can hear a weird noise in the background, it's because my wife is printing something. Alright, surprisingly quiet up here on the second story, but I guess that's probably because most of the zombies fell out the windows. Because that would probably be how it would go, right? Assuming the zombies are just wandering around, not like actively pursuing somebody, they would probably eventually all sort of move to the lowest possible level, right? Just sort of like settle. <laughs> That makes sense. Is the bathroom at the end? Yeah. It's all hospital supplies. Don't need most of that. Bathroom? No. Okay, I've been over here already. Oh, there's where they're getting on the roof. Oh no, here's where they get. There's actually a door. Well, that explains that. There's just a door to the roof. Oh, hello. windows over here for some sort of some room is two-story I'll check that out in a second as soon as I clean off the rest of the zombies up here we're starting to get tired now also having frame rate issues up here One left, looks like it. Oh no, my axe just broke. Hmm. So, what are you a window into? I don't know what that room is. Supposed to be like a yard, like an internal yard. I don't know what that's a room, a uh, window for. <laughs> Still, so many zombies down there. Oh, hello. Entirely where these guys are coming from, but somewhere. Alright, let me fall back this direction. I think I'm going to stop here for today. Yeah, we'll stop here. Um, and I'll uh, check you guys out next time. Thanks so much.